Hi guys, if you are looking for a killer steak and chips recipe, this is the one. It's perfect for special occasions. It's ideal for Valentine's Day as a special treat with a glass of wine. I'm gonna cook a coat de boeuf. We're gonna use the reverse sear method, which will cook out all that rich fat in the meat and then sear it in the pan with garlic and rosemary. Meanwhile, we're gonna make up a very simple recipe for the best homemade chips. And to bring it all together, an absolutely stellar aioli recipe. Spiked with garlic, a little bit of lemon juice and plenty of oil, you are gonna be left with something that is perfect for dipping those chips into. So to kick it off, we're gonna reverse sear our steak. Now, if you haven't heard of reverse sear, it works perfectly when you have a thick piece of meat like this, particularly if it's on the bone. It takes a lot of the guesswork out of perfecting a thick cut of steak like this. And by slow cooking into the oven, what we're going to do is break down a lot of that fat and then get all the flavor on that pan seared until it's golden brown with some garlic and rosemary. So to start off, we wanna season it up generously with some sea salt and black pepper onto the rack and into the oven. Now, we need to make up our chips. This method for making chips is a really fantastic one. I've only come across it recently. It's on Smitten Kitchen's website, one fantastic food blog, Deb Perlman writes. And it's such a cool little method that works really well with chips. With homemade chips, getting them right is always a difficulty. This method takes away any freezing or double frying or any of those extra steps you always see for homemade chips. Instead, it all happens in a pan of cold oil. The chips are brought up to temperature and they start to sizzle and cook out and you get left with these gorgeous golden chips. So to start this off, we're gonna slice up our potatoes into nice, fine chips. And the key here is to use a waxy potato. The beauty of this recipe is that if you don't have a deep fat fryer, this is a great one to do. You only need enough oil to cover the fries. And as soon as it starts to come up to temperature and start to begin to cook the fries, all you have to do is keep your eye on it. Just shuffle them around every now and then until you get left with crispy golden fries. And then it's time to drain in some paper, keep them warm and we're ready to rock. Now, while they're frying off and while our steak is in the oven, we're gonna crack on with this aioli. This is a homemade aioli, which is very simple. We're gonna take a wet tea cloth or a dish cloth. You're gonna wrap it around the edges of your bowl. This is gonna secure it in place. And once it's nice and secure like this, we're gonna get in there with our egg yolks, our Dijon mustard, the lemon juice, and that little bit of garlic. And then we're gonna slowly whisk in that extra virgin olive oil until we have a beautiful thick aioli. Making aioli is one of those classic moments of alchemy in the kitchen. You're bringing together simple ingredients like egg yolks, garlic, lemon juice, and Dijon mustard. And by slowly trickling in extra virgin olive oil, you transport it into this most spectacular substance that is just ideal for dipping fries and having with steak. Now, the key trick here is to continuously whisk, and you're gonna drip feed this little mixture with extra virgin olive oil. The trick is to make sure that Every little bit of oil is completely incorporated before you add more. The moment this can split or go all the wrong ways for you is when you add too much oil. So slowly, slowly to start. And then when you start seeing it take shape, that's when you can start a steady flow and a nice trickle of oil that gets continuously incorporated. So take your time with this, perfect it, and you'll have something that's absolutely stunning with steak. Okay, we've got every last little drop of oil gone in here, and you can see that this is now transformed into something thick, glossy, and absolutely glorious. Really important that you try it. Mm. It's really lovely when you use the extra virgin olive oil, but actually this needs a little bit of salt and another squeeze of lemon juice, just to give it a sharpness. Give that a good whisk. And now you have an aioli that is ready to rock. So that's our aioli. Next up, we've got our chips, which are looking absolutely glorious and golden. I'm gonna transfer them out, get them drained off, and let's season them up with some herbs and some salt. Mm. 
Just have a look at that. Gorgeous golden chips, now coated with lots of salt and lots of herbs. This can now go into the oven in the low heat that's in there. We're gonna get our steak out, and we're gonna check the temperature. We want it at this point now to come up to about 55 degrees Celsius, that's about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it's at that point, we know that it's medium rare and we can flash fry it. Okay, this is looking perfect. We've got it right to the perfect temperature. So at this point now, we're gonna get the pan on nice and hot. A tablespoon of a neutral oil, like canola oil, rapeseed oil will work perfect here. Once that's up to temperature, we're gonna get the steak in to sear, nice and brown on one side, and then we're gonna add in butter, rosemary, and a little bit of garlic. Right, we have a nice golden brown color on one side. I'm gonna turn this over. And now, as it cooks out on the other side, we're gonna get in there with plenty of butter that we're gonna baste continuously with. I'm also gonna add our rosemary and our garlic that's gonna flavor it up. And then all you're gonna do is, as soon as that butter starts to melt out, continuously baste until that steak has a glorious golden color all around and it's got all that flavor from the butter. This is the magic moment where this steak recipe just comes together. You've got all that butter that's gone nutty and brown. You've got that steak, which has got great color, still is medium rare. So at this point now, I'm gonna take it out, carve it up, serve it up with the aioli and all those lovely fries. Okay, it's time to serve. We've got chips, I've transferred my aioli and just have a look at that steak. Beautifully medium rare. In fact, I'm just gonna dive in right now. Mmm. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I was gonna serve it up, but now I just have to dive in and try that aioli. Oh, so good. And maybe a chip or two. Mmm. Oh my God. That is the sort of steak dinner I want to sit down to for a special occasion. Mm. The meat goes super tender. You get all that great flavor from the garlic and the rosemary and all that butter on that beautifully cooked medium rare steak alongside the easiest fries or chips recipe you will ever come across and then a stellar aioli to bring it all together. Serve this up for your special someone and you will be in for a treat. As always, the recipe is in the box below. You can find it over my website. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And as always, leave a comment below letting me know if you're gonna try this for a special occasion and how well it went down.